We have Finn comes to you this week from the Bahrain Air Show, the fastest growing show in the Middle East region. Specifically, it's coming to you from the left-hand seat of a 737-800 from Saudi Aramco, the largest corporate airliner fleet in the world. Well, there's plenty of aircraft to see here, from large to small. And during the show, we're talking about deals, we're talking about helicopters, so much, stick with us. Dignitaries from across the region joined His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa for the official opening. And with Saudi Arabia just a short drive away, it was no wonder that the show drew a lot of interest from the neighbours across the causeway. Boutique carrier Saudi Golf signed for 10 firm and 10 options on a mix of Airbus A320neo and A321neo aircraft. While waiting for delivery, the Daman-based airline is going to be leasing a further 20 new aircraft to meet its growth demands. With $2.1 billion in value for the airframes and a further billion for the CFM engines, this turned out to be the biggest single order in the show's history. On the military front, Bahrain announced the purchase of 12 attack helicopters from Bell. The AH-1 Zulu aircraft were estimated at being worth more than $900 million. These new Vipers will supplement the Cobras already in service with the RBAF. We designed that aircraft to be a, uh, for the US Marine Corps. So we marinize that aircraft. What that means is we design it for the, the very difficult environment of being at sea, the salt water, those kinds of things. In doing that, we've made it a, a really rugged aircraft, but it stands up to all kinds of uh, austere conditions, whether it be desert or difficult circumstances. The Air Force also took delivery of the first of its C-130J aircraft from the modification engineering company Marshalls. The transfer from the UK's RAF is the world's first transfer of a Dash J variant. Saudi's oil and gas giant Saudi Aramco confirmed its 700 million deal with Leonardo for AW139 helicopters and showed the value of the type which is already performing well in search and rescue operations. The region's defence spending has been on the up and there was a whole host of impressive flying displays to allow the OEMs to strut their stuff. The F-35 made its debut at the show with a roaring fly past and the Russian knights wowed the crowds as they put their Sukhoi jets through their paces. The RAF's Flight Lieutenant Peterson completed his year as the Typhoon solo display pilot, showing off the fighter that's been selected by Saudi Arabia, Oman, Qatar and Kuwait. So I'm going to showcase how amazingly manoeuvrable the jet is. It's got carefree handling, which just means I just pull the stick back as far as it will go and the computers do the rest. Uh, so you'll see me go from minus 3G all the way up to positive 9G, uh, all within 10 seconds. And watch out for our special film. It says grab a cockpit view. But for the Bahrain Defence Force, all eyes were on the F-16s. Bahrain is the launch customer of the latest Block 70 type and will be taking 16 of the aircraft. Bahrain took the idea of inspiring youngsters seriously at the show with a section that was open to the kids and to families to see what goes on in aviation. Back on the main show ground, there was a first for Bahrain as well, with the Flexi Combi 737, which can move from being cargoes and then taking in passengers in business class. It can move everything from rock bands to taking engines to uh, aircraft that are down on the ground. Business aviation was well represented at the event. The importance of business for Bahrain was reinforced when the government signed a real estate deal for a new business aviation terminal at what's currently the Civil Aviation Authority offices, which should be operational by 2020. And the Bahrain Airport Company also announced plans for a new cargo area, as well as signing an upgrade deal to take the international airport to a Cat 3 status. So pleased with the outcome of the fifth edition of Bahrain International Air Show. Uh, we witnessed tremendous success and expansion. Uh, our air show is, uh, uh, is becoming bigger and bigger. Uh, I can say that this is the fastest growing air show in the Middle East, for sure, with the expansion that we have. There's a superb flying display going on with the extra 300s and the Cap 232s from the Global Stars. Fireworks, the lot. Hope you've enjoyed the program. Don't forget, if you want more, go to our website, wearefin.com. Meanwhile, just watch the fireworks. <laughs>